here and we need to figure out the equivalent resistance of the circuit. Okay, so let's draw the, the picture up here. So this uh, circuit looks like the following. It's got a battery right there. I'll give you my values. It's 12 volts. And then there is a wire here. There is a resistor going up. There is another resistor going up. And then there is a wire going across. And there is a resistor right there. Okay, and this one is, we'll call it R1, R2, and R3. So the voltage supply was 12 volts. R1 in my numbers are, let's see, it's 820 ohms for that one. R2 is 680 ohms. And R3 is 960 ohms. Okay, we need to figure out the equivalent resist resistance of the circuit. Now, they draw it on the side just to play with your mind a little bit because we've always been drawing the batteries vertically. But we can just rotate this thing, right? So let's do that. Start with, we'll make the battery there. The wire goes up and now it's going to go to two things. It's going to go to R1 and it's also going to go to R2. After you go through those resistors, the other side is connected to R3. And then it comes back to the battery. So this circuit is exactly the same as that circuit. All we did was rotate it to the right and we moved some of the wires around, but we didn't change any of the important connections. All right, we know how to model this now. We just did this a second ago. First step is let's get rid of this parallel. So we rewrite the parallel resistors as RP. We still have R3 hanging down there. And we know what RP is. 1 over RP equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. And now, at this point, you could calculate RP, right? Austin was asking about writing this in terms of common denominators. You could also just plug in those numbers and calculate RP. So why don't we do that? 1 over RP equals 1 over R1, which is 820 ohms, plus 1 over R2, which is 680 ohms. And why don't you guys plug those into your calculator and tell me what you get. And then take 1 over that number. Okay? After you take 1 over 820, you add 1 over 680, set equals, and then invert it. And that's RP. And tell me what you get. 372 ohms. Somebody else concur on that one? Okay, good. So that's RP. Now we need to add those two in series. So we end up with this. Where RS is now RP plus R3. So it's 372 plus 960, which is 1332. And that is, of course, ohms. All right, the first question was determine the equivalent resistance of the circuit. That's this. Once you get down to the simple circuit, whatever that resistor is that's left, that is the equivalent resistance. Should we plug it in and try it? 1332. And the units are ohms. We've got to go to the symbol guy. There it is. And we submit it. And it says, correct, 1332 ohms. All right, so that was the first part. The second part says, determine the voltage across 
the 820 ohm resistor. So they want the voltage across here. We'll call that V1. What is the voltage across resistor number one? Aha! How do we do that? I think to do that, we're going to need a little bit more information.